You know, finding the right treatment can be frustrating, and some parents are turning to a program in Edwardsville and seeing huge improvements in their child's behavior. It's called the Brain Balance Center, and today we're hearing from the doctor who founded it, Dr. Robert Melillo. He joins us here in the studio. That would be you. That's me. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. You know, we talked briefly before the show, and I was surprised to hear you say that this is not something that's inherent in kids, that it's primarily environmental, ADHD. Right, as we had talked about, ADHD is increasing at an epidemic level as almost all of these childhood developmental issues are. And my question to you when you said that to me was, well, that's because our diagnostics have gotten so much better, we're recognizing it more now, right? right? And, and you said, absolutely wrong. Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I just wrote a book called Autism, The Scientific Truth. The first, first chapter is on, is it an epidemic? And um, really basically showed that what we're looking at is about maybe 50% of the increase over the last 10, 20 years uh, is because of improved diagnosis, but at least 50% of the increase is related to new cases that never existed before. I mean, we're actually seeing a dramatic increase. So there's that diagnostic improvement, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, they, that even, the, even that improvement was, was based on these environmental factors. In other words, the environment was always there. Right. We're getting better at diagnosing it, but the environment is also becoming more and more conducive. So that's Correct. why we're expanding exactly. it. And it's mostly lifestyle stuff. It's not even, you know, necessarily, I mean, there are some things with pesticides and, and other things, but mm -hmm. really primarily it's, it's our lifestyle, lack of exercise, increased stress, hormones, inflammation, autoimmune issues, all of those different things are contributing. So those are things that we can, that we can manipulate and, and, and hopefully not, well, first of all, this is almost curable. I mean, I know, I know you don't like to use that word, right. but this is something that, I mean, we just think, okay, well, you get that Ritalin and, and the problem goes away. And right. you just get the dosage right. We got to tweak the dosage a little bit and then it goes away. Right. But that can do even more harm than good. Well, you know, there's been two major studies that really came out in the last year or so, basically showing that medication helps on managing short-term symptoms, maybe for a year and a half, right. two years, but long-term, there's no benefit whatsoever from medication. It Not doesn't to improve function. The side effects that you right, have. and the possible side effects. But you know, basically, a study out of Canada showing boys had worse grades after uh, using Ritalin, and, and girls had more emotional issues. So again, it, it's a good way to manage symptoms short term, but it's not a solution. It doesn't address the primary problem, and that's the whole issue. So tell, me, tell us about your treatment program and how it works. Well, we're really an education center. We're really learning center. So uh, we don't use the term necessarily treatment per se because we're really using a more innovative educational approach. And it really all starts with understanding what is ADHD, what is dyslexia. And that's where my research has been for 20 years. And basically we know it's what's called a functional disconnection where there's an imbalance, a developmental imbalance between areas of the brain where they're not talking to each other. Certain areas have more connections than normal. Certain areas have less connections and the two hemispheres aren't really talking to one another. Mm -hmm. And depending on whether there's a delay in the right side or the left side, dyslexia for instance is a delay in left hemisphere development. ADHD is a delay in the right hemisphere. So. Mm -hmm we can then identify where the weaknesses are and the strengths and focus on the weaknesses and put together a program that includes physical exercise, sensory stimulation, diet, nutrition, as well as academic training and behavioral modification. And, and we can, you know, in many cases, completely correct these issues. It's almost like uh, when people tell you you're working out, I mean, you, you're using muscles that you haven't been using. Absolutely. Those pathways are there. Right. They're just not being utilized. Exactly. And through this treatment, <clears throat> and uh, I know you know this educational process, we find ways to open up those pathways. Is that is that? Absolutely. Accurate? You know, we all hear the term neuroplasticity now. Right. Well, basically, that means the the brain's ability to grow and develop and change based on stimulation and training. So it's like training your muscles. You know, you have an injured arm, you can train it. You have an area of the brain that isn't as strong or isn't as developed, you can train that specifically. And when you create this kind of balance in the brain where all areas, the child can now use the whole brain. It's all about integrating all areas of the brain. And mm -hmm. the more we can do that, the better we can learn. And, and what we're doing is, is training that in the brain of these children. And I, and I, I, I would say 99.99999% of parents, if they knew there was a way out of this without the drugs, would choose that way. Oh, absolutely, and even most of the doctors, because we have many doctors that have their kid in our pro, kids in our program. Mm -hmm. Nobody likes that. Right. But 
And, and again, to your point, we just came out with, over the last couple of years, two major scientific studies, one in a, a control study that came out in a journal called Frontiers, basically showing that 81% of the kids that came through our program for, after three months with ADHD no longer had ADHD. Wow. And that there was a two to four grade level increase in their academic achievement wow. in multiple academic areas. No other study has ever showed that before. And we have two studies now, so that means that we qualify as what we call evidence-based at this well, point. Listen, if you're, if you're concerned about your child or grandchild that perhaps they have ADHD and you haven't gotten that diagnosis yet and you want to learn more about this program, Dr. Melillo is holding a lecture tonight. You have an event coming up, right? This will Correct. be at the uh, Gateway Center in Collinsville. It's at 7 o'clock this evening. The lecture is free, but you will need to RSVP in advance of the event, and you can do that by calling 618 eight zero six one zero four six that's not the number we have on the screen is that the right number though the the one i the one i read okay good yes for more information about brain balance achievement centers in edwardsville that's the number that you see on your screen there six one eight six five nine zero zero three three or go to brain center balance brain balance centers brain balance centers dot com brain balance centers dot com i need to get on there fast yeah apparently. there you go <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to eat. Thank you so much Thank for coming so in. Much. I think it's fascinating. It. I think a lot of people see this as chemical and that there's a chemical way out of it. And I know we all hate doing that. And it, there is a better way. That's not what the research shows. All it's right, exactly can, what I said. Learn about that at the lecture tonight. Okay. Virginia. Great. Thank you.